everybody. It's me again, Sanitary103 here. How you guys doing? As for me, I'm doing pretty good, but this weather lately has been kind of crazy out here in California. Last week it was uh, raining, a little bit of overcast, and the last couple days it's been uh, pretty hot, so it can't really make up its mind. And I don't have air conditioning in here, so hopefully I won't be too sweaty during this video. I think I'll manage. But enough with that. Anyways, in my hand right here, I have a quick healthy snack option, and that is from World's Kitchen Kitchen's brand uh, beef jerky right here, original flavor. There are a lot of other brands out there on the supermarket, uh, Alberta, Jack Links, etc., etc. This one tastes overall pretty good, and I'm gonna give you the, the macros on this. For one ounce, it has 80 calories. It has one gram of fat, only 20 milligrams of cholesterol. 6 carbohydrates and 12 grams of protein. So you're getting double the amount of protein to carb, which is a 2 to 1 protein to carb ratio, which is really good. So this overall is pretty low in carb. It's a good snack. It doesn't spike your insulin as high as, you know, having a piece of candy, a donut, stuff like that. So overall, it's not bad. However, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the seal of approval, I give it about, you know, a 7 or an 8. Pretty good. It's not flawless though, and one of the reasons why is that it does contain a good amount of sodium. Um, this right here for one ounce has 580 milligrams of sodium. That is 24% of your daily values if you're on a 2,000 calorie diet. That's, so that's almost one fourth of your total intake of salt. And as a lot of people know, the American diet as well as diets across the country um, have a lot of salt in them to begin so you know having too much of this can be detrimental to your uh, health especially if you're salt sensitive and if you have high blood pressure that runs in your family me I'm a very active person but even for someone such as myself I tend to you know run anywhere between you know 130 over 80 you know it has hit 140 before so I need to actually be careful because I'm a little bit salt sensitive so if you're salt sensitive and you have a high blood pressure make sure you don't eat the whole darn bag on this thing but other than that it's not good also one little thing it does contain MSG um, I'm not gonna get too much into MSG right now but people have said that eating too much of MSG has caused them to become dehydrated has caused them to um, get headaches personally with me I have not experienced that um, I've eaten uh, ramen noodles many times and that does have some MSG it's not the healthiest thing but hey I'm human I gotta have my noodles and I never really had a headache so I don't know if that's more of a placebo or if it is the MSG or a combination but anyway everything in moderation right so go to your local store pick up some beef jerky beef jerky is a little bit expensive um, if you're on a budget out here in the States at least I think it's like $5.99 for a smaller package of this but if you just need a couple of pieces here and there, it might last you quite a while. All right, that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching another video, and uh, we'll do it again next time. Bye.